Assalamu alaikum guys. Today I'm going to show you step by step how we can apply for Muhammad bin Ziyad University of Artificial Intelligence. Before we apply, I will tell you that in Muhammad bin Ziyad University of Artificial Intelligence for master's degree, the monthly stipend is 15,500 dirhams. And for PhD students, the monthly stipend is 17,500 dirhams. Here are some general requirements we have to read it. We need a curriculum meta. We need a graduate record examination. GRE is optional, but if you have, it's better. If you don't have, it's okay. You need a statement of purpose. You need a research statement and you need recommendation letters, uh, two recommendation letters and screening tests. Here I will click on MSc programs because I want to apply for uh, an MSc degree. Here we can see the programs which are available in uh, Muhammad bin Ziyad University of Artificial Intelligence, UAE, and in which we can apply for a master's degree. We have to choose one course from here, then we will move to the next page. In the next page, we can see on the top right corner, Apply Now option. You can see the Apply Now option. You have to click on the Apply Now option. You can check this as well as an overview, but you don't need to read it. Just click on apply now and we will proceed to next page. Here we can see we have two options, sign up and login. We don't have an account, so first we will have to create our account. You have to enter your first name here. The next section, enter your last name here. The next section, enter your email address and then proceed to next. Enter your mobile phone number along with your country code and in the next page create your own password and then retype the password in the down section as well. After that the next session is about select and trust and you want to do a graduate program or undergraduate. As you guys know that we are applying for a master's degree so we will select graduate program and then we will sign off. After we click on sign up, they will send a verification code to our email address. We have to enter that code and then we have to click on verify account. Our account has successfully registered. Now we have to bake and then we have to log in. You have to enter your password and email address and then we have to click on login. After logging into the portal, we can see an interface something like this in which we can see my application and my applications and programs we have to click on apply now in the down section we can see apply now and request information we have to click on apply now to apply for a program in this section you have to choose again whether you want to apply for undergraduate or graduate program our undergraduate research program we want to apply for graduate we will click on graduate and then we will have to choose whether master's degree or our doctorate degree i will choose a master's degree after i click on master's degree there are the programs which are available in this semester and they are offering for a uh, master's degree we have to click any program from them in which you you are interested to do your master's degree after we click on the program, we can see the program detail, the program name, the application date, the deadline, submission deadline, and then decision notification date in academic level. It's a graduate program. We have to click on apply now and then we have to click yes, apply. We will proceed to the main application portal where we have to enter our all our information in one by one and then we have to apply first is personal detail we have to click on start track and then we have to enter our, all our personal informations one by one here they are asking about your name which is already written in the next section they are asking about your gender whether you are a male or a female the next section is about your nationality which one is your nationality you have to choose your nationality and in the next section is about your mother's nationality where is your mother from maybe your mother is from another country so you have to choose your mother's nationality and then you have to choose the country of residence where are you living and then in the next section you have to choose your marital status where whether you are married divorced or single i will choose single Next step is you have to choose your date of birth. 
Next section is about contact information. You have to enter your email address, your street address, like your house address, which is written on your CNIC or passport. You have to enter the city name and then you have to enter your mobile phone number along with the country code. Next section is about others. Do you have a wallet passport? If you have a passport, you have to click yes. If you don't have a passport, you have to click no because we need a passport for application. We have to enter our passport number in the next section. The passport issue date, which date you got your passport, which is already must be mentioned on your passport. And the next section is about your passport expiry date. You have to choose that as well. Next section is, do you have uh, the required proof of English proficiency, language proficiency because they need IELTS. So you have to choose any like you have IELTS certificate or any other certificate. So I have an IELTS certificate. I will choose an IELTS certificate. If you are from an English uh, speaking country, then you can apply for an exemption as well. There is an option of exemption. Next section is about a person of determinant. If you have any disability, you have to choose yes. If you don't have any disability, you have to choose no. Like you have any uh, learning disabilities, then you have to cho choose yes. I don't have any learning disabilities, so I will choose no. The next section is how did you hear about uh, Muhammad bin Ziyad University? How did you hear? You have to choose any option from here. But you have to choose other and then write my name. It's better because I told you about this university scholarships. And then in the next section, I can set up receiving communication from. Uh, I want that the university can send me emails or messages. So yeah, we have to click yes here because the university will send us email about our application status. The section is finished and we have to click on save and then we will proceed to the next section. Next section is about preferred faculty, which professor you want to be your supervisor. You have three options so you can choose three professors which you want to be your supervisor, any of them, like not all of three, but one of them will be your supervisor. If you already have communicated with him, then it's better to choose his name. If you haven't, you can choose any from these a lot. It's a, a huge list. You can choose three supervisors from here. After we choose our supervisors, we have to click on submit track. This track is submitted and then we have to move to the next step. Next tip is about academic history. We have to enter our school information in this section one by one. First, we have to click on add. When we click on add, we have to enter our study, study country, country of study. Where did you study? I studied in Pakistan. I will choose Pakistan in the next section, bachelor's degree or master's. So I did a bachelor's degree and then bachelor of science. You have to choose the name of your degree. And then you have to choose the name of the university. If you cannot find the name of the university, then you have to choose other options and then you have to enter your university name manually. But I checked it. Almost all the universities are available in this list, which are registered with Higher Education Commission. Next section is about program of study. What did you study in your previous university? And then you, the next section is about enrollment date. With the, when did you enroll to this university? And the next section is about your graduate graduation date. You have to choose your graduation date. And the next section is about your grade, expected CGPA, how much you obtained the CGPA. And the next section is about your maximum CGPA. What is the grading system in your university? Maybe it's 4 or 5 or 4.5. You have to choose that. After finishing this section, we have to move to the next section. We have to click on save and then we have to continue the next section. Next section is about your em employment history. If you ever employed somewhere, you have to enter all the details here. If you never implied, you can skip this section. Are you currently implied? You are currently applying? No. And then you have to click save track. If you 
if you are currently working maybe in a government or private section you have to enter date and then you have to click on qualification you have to enter your qualifications here existing same qualification like online course exchange program summer renter or others you have to choose your uh, program that you ever did if you have any courses something like this maybe you ever uh, did an online course or something like this other qualifications so it will be beneficial for you i did an online course python with scratch online so i will choose that and i will submit this you can enter uh, several certificates here if you have a lot of certificates and you can add a short des description with each certificate as well that what did you learn there and uh, for how long was the course after filling this section we will move to the next section next section is about award or publications if you have any publications or awards you ever received then you have to uh, fill up this section but i don't have any so i will skip that section and i will move to the next section next section is about your recommendation letters you have to uh, write the name of the organization in which your professor is working and then you have to choose the job uh, position he is a professor or assistant professor then you have to choose maybe master or professor or doctor you have to choose doctor or professor it's better and then the next one you have to write the first name of the professor and then the last name of the professor and the email address it's must these sections are must you must fill it and then you have to choose one more uh a referee as well two referees are required and you have to enter all their informations here they will receive an email and they will have to you have to ask them to fill the recommendation letters for you they should be your previous supervisor or maybe previous professors from your, your previous university or can be your advisor maybe not your professor but he is your advisor so you can choose him as your as your advisor as well can be your research advisor he never teach you but he uh, was your research advisor so he can be your referee here and then you have to click on submit track and then you have to move to the next step we will move to the next step and next step is about review and confirmation you have to review that like the consent that they are collecting your information and you have to choose yes here all of this this, this is about declaration and you have to click on yes i would like to tell you that this section is about test they will arrange a test for you for everyone who is applying here and then you have to attempt the test and it's about test that you will uh you will have to atten attend the test if you have a gre exam already then you can skip this test but if you don't have a gre exam you must have to appear in this test and you have to pass this test for this university, passing this test is really, really important. One more thing, it's written that if you submit this track, you will have just 10 days to prepare for the exams. So you have to prepare yourself. If you are not prepared for the exam, then don't submit this track. You can submit this form later. You uh, upload all your documents and then you can uh, submit your test later but if you submit this form here just now then you will have just exactly 10 days to prepare for the exam i will suggest you that skip this section for now i think 10 days are not enough to prepare for the exam so i will skip this section because i don't wanna appear in test right now i will appear in test after i i'm fully prepared and the next section is about uploading documents we have to upload all our documents one by one we have to click on upload now and then we can see all the the documents which we need to upload first is cv and resume we can see we need a cv we need an english bachelor certificate or enrollment here certificate or degree should be in english if if they're not in english you should translate it english bachelor degree you have to upload your bachelor's degree putu with white background upload upload a putu with white background proof of english proficiency certificate you have to upload 
an IELTS certificate or TOEFL certificate or any other certificate. The minimum score should be 6.5 and for TOEFL the minimum score should be 90 and maybe a, a English medium of instruction. English medium later for those who are living in an English speaking country. An English uh, statement of purpose. You have to upload your statement of purpose in PDF form and a valid passport. You should upload your passport and the passport should be valid. It shouldn't be an expire. If you have any additional documents, you can upload an additional files and you can upload that. Maybe you have any online certificates or you attended conferences or any other certificates. Whatever you have, you can upload the, them in the additional files. After you upload all these files and you register for the test, you have to pass the test. After you pass the test, you can submit your application before the deadline. Make sure that you apply for the test before the deadline. Otherwise, if the deadline is over, you cannot apply and you will not be able to submit your form. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until last, I will be uploading such kind of videos for you guys. If you want to win a scholarship, just stay with me and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.